Okay. Uh, last video for today. Lauren Bacall passed away yesterday at 89. Um, her death didn't upset me, really. It, it shocked me, I have to admit, it did. But, because it came, it came, it came out of nowhere. She had a stroke, massive stroke. So, yeah, that was really unexpected for everybody. Um, she was not well one you messed with, in my opinion. She just had this, like, badass attitude to her. Like, I feel like if anyone tried to mess with her, she cut him down. Like, I just, I don't know why. I just have that feeling when I watch her. That she just was like, I'm not going to take your stuff. Like, she just was a very unique person. Um, she was 19 and have and have not. And she doesn't look 19. She looks older. And they actually had to make her older in the movie because, like, she didn't look 19. Like, that... They said in the movie she was 19. I don't think anyone would believe it because she doesn't look like she was a teenager and like a, you know, almost, well, a teenager. Right? She didn't look like she was a kid. I mean, I guess because she had, back then, you know, even now I know that people go through things, but I feel like then things kind of age people quicker, so maybe that's why she looked older, I don't know. She did have and have not. She met Humphrey Bogart, which was their my favorite Hollywood couple, old Hollywood couple. Um, Desi and Lucy are probably second. But uh, Humphrey and Lauren were my, uh, my favorite old Hollywood couple. They were um I've seen Heaven Have Not The Big Sleep and um, The Dark Passage. I, so I haven't seen Key Largo, which was their last movie they did together. Um, honestly, my favorite is Dark Passage. Uh, not think it's a lot of people's favorite because I don't really hear too many people talking about it, really, as much as the other two. But Dark Passage, for some reason, just does it for me a little bit more. I think because they were married at that point, they were married for a while, and I just feel like their chemistry was so much stronger and, than the other two, and he was very gentle with her, and just seemed a little more sensitive with each other. It just seemed like they were more, it was like a more gentle approach that they took with each other in that movie, and I just love it. I love that um, a lot, um, but when Lauren got to have and have not, she thought she was gonna. Cary Grant was supposed to do the movie, but then he and I don't I think he was gonna make something else, and so he decided not to do have and have not. So they gave it to Humphrey, and Lauren didn't want to work with Humphrey because she thought he'd be mean. She so didn't want to work with him, but and she worked with him and honestly he ended up liking each other because they were married 11 and a half years so like just I feel like it's really interesting that her first movie she ever made was with one like, named the best actor ever Humphrey Bogart and then they end up getting married like it was like the first moment of her entire life happened when she was 19. <laughs> like, that's crazy to me. And they didn't get married when she was 19. They got married when she was in her early 20s and he was in his 40s and everyone makes such a big deal over it and it's so stupid. <laughs> because they knew what they were getting themselves into and they were the most in love couple ever. Um, Lauren said that she didn't know it was possible to feel as loved as she did when she was with him. So, yeah. He was... I feel like um, he needed her a lot more than she needed him. 
I know that she loved him. I know that. And obviously she did. But he always wanted her around. He never wanted her out of his sight because he missed her. Like, he did not feel comfortable beyond being, like, being away from her. He needed her there, like, by his side. She didn't need him by her side. She was perfect. He did want to be on her own. She did want some kind of, like, space every once in a while. Humphrey didn't. He just always wanted her there. Um, and I know it kind of wore her down sometimes, but he just really wanted her around. And I think that's nice. Um, so, with Lauren, I wasn't really sad that she was gone. Kind of, obviously, because she's... Just, well, classics are just keep dying one by one. It's like... This year, you've lost so many already, and it's getting really sad. This is getting, like, who's next? Like, who's going to be next? And then it's just crazy. And the thing is, is because, like, they all started kind of the same age around the same time, so they're kind of the same age right now, all of them. And they're kind of just dying off right now and it's so sad and we won't have a lot of these people soon like maybe in the next five years or so even you won't have them here and it's so sad it's like when I think of that I'm just like it's so sad because we're losing huge chunk of history we're losing a huge thing here like when we lose a, ch a classic star, it's not like, oh, well, they were old. That means that's what happened, and that's true. But you're also losing a legacy and a history and a moment that we'll never see again. We're never, ever, ever going to see this again. And it's crazy. Like, it's insane. And we don't really have a lot of people stepping up in their place. And... I mean, I'm talking about like Meryl, Meryl Streep, George Clooney, um, Tom Hanks, definitely Tom Hanks. They're up there. They're in another league. <laughs> like, I'm not talking about the older actors and actresses that we have now that are newer. You know, like newer generation classic actors. I'm not talking about them. They're great. They're wonderful. But I'm talking about like, like Anne Hathaway and. Like, that was that gap of people right there. Um, and I know Jennifer Lawrence, like, oh, but we don't, we have some, but we don't really have a lot. And that kind of scares me, because I'm like, oh, what are we going to do? But um, anyway, yeah, we wanted to pay tribute to Lauren and talk about Humphrey and stuff with her and Humphrey, so, uh, again, that is all, goodbye.